Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about the scroll function in Karate UI automation. So scroll function is very important, very commonly used function in automation. So you will definitely need to scroll to the web element and get to the control of it basically. So say for example here, we want to uh, click something which is at the bottom of the page, right? So we definitely need to scroll down at the bottom to the web element. So that it's visible and then click it click on it or enter some text there right so that's where the scroll function is really helpful and there are multiple options so if we go to the detail of the scroll function here so it's, it will scroll to the element so you have to specify the element locator where you want to scroll so basically if you want to bring a locator or the web element in view that is at the bottom of the page of your application you simply scroll to that particular web element by specifying the locator of that particular web element in the parenthesis and the scroll will happen automatically pretty simple nothing complex now scroll and click are very commonly used together so you can also chain these functions together right so you can say scroll and then scroll to that locate location or to that particular button and then click it so you can say scroll dot so you specify the locator or but button and then you can say dot click or if you want to input something in the text box you are scrolling to the text box that you want to bring it in the view so you scroll to that text box and then say dot input and provide the input or the text that you want to enter so let me demo all of this uh, this in action so that you are able to use scroll function easily in your automation scripts using karate ui automation so i'll copy here so basically let me do one thing here I'll copy the same create PDF okay dot feature and I will rename it to scroll simply say scroll element dot feature Let's close all of this and open the scroll element dot feature okay so let's put everything as is and now here what I'll do is I'll open um, the training dot academy dot com website and let's see where because it's a it's a lengthy page on the training portal so we have certain fields there which are at the bottom right so say for example i want to so usually you will see that the web element for this resume right so if you're uh, if, we, if you're struggling with the QA resume we have a template that you can go ahead and download so if say for example you want to come to this particular web element and provide your name and uh, the email then in that case you have to scroll right manually so your automation script also needs to perform the same actions so you need to scroll or bring this particular element in the view and then I can basically provide the email here or click on this subscribe button okay so say for example I have to emulate the same thing using the scroll functionality in karate ui so i'll open uh, this particular page okay so let me open training.rcbacademy.com i'll delay for less than five seconds let's delay three seconds so that you can basically see the page has been loaded and it's actually moving or scrolling okay now in order to scroll to that particular web element okay what's the function the function is scroll and here we have right so if you just want to scroll to that element we simply can use scroll and then provide the locator of the web element that we want to scroll okay so we can simply say scroll uh, and then the locator of the web element right where we want to scroll so where do we want to scroll we want to scroll to the say for example the first name okay so i'll simply right click and inspect and let's write the locator for this first name field okay so this is an input field right so i'll simply say control f and you'll see that the id is named for this particular field let me copy the x path right click copy x path and see what the x path is okay so yeah it looks like it is good enough because the id is unique the name uh no id is not unique because you can see that there are two elements with the same id so we will use some other so let's say the name we say name name is also not unique because the name is also appearing twice so let's see what else we can use so placeholder is let's say placeholder so placeholder let's see what the placeholder is the placeholder is your name okay let's see if this is unique yeah this is okay so basically placeholder for this particular field is your name so we can use this x path okay in order to scroll to this particular location all right so what i'll do is i'll simply copy and paste this x path here and we will 
change this inner your name to single quotes and the outer one to double quotes because we can't use single quotes twice so we have to use it like this okay so now with this scroll what will happen is the scroll will happen on the page and that particular placeholder the your name should come into view okay so let me put five seconds wait after the scroll so we can see everything in uh, the browser and the browser doesn't close very soon so let me run this so right click run as cucumber feature and see that it actually works perfectly fine the scroll is happening so it has opened the firefox browser it is opening the page and you can see that the name is not in the view at the moment okay looks like it didn't go through let me refresh the screen uh, and the reports and see what the outcome is so go to karate reports karate summary.html it actually scrolled and you can see that it has passed so looks like it has went through but i think the issue is uh, even this is not unique uh, because if i see the placeholder for this one okay so yeah okay so the placeholder your name is for the first text box itself and that's that's where i did it wrong so basically we need to find the placeholder if i close this so this is the this is the name and email address okay and we need to basically find the x path for this one so first name right so if we inspect this one and then we need to scroll here right so here we have used the first text box itself which is already in the view right so that's not correct text path we need to basically scroll to the element that is not in the view so we can see that okay so if we just control f you will see that it has moved to this one but actually we want to move to the other one right so to to this first name okay so the placeholder for this one is first name all right so i'll change this to first first name right now you will see that it is in the qa resume section and now the scroll should happen to this location okay so this is very important basically when your script fails try to analyze it a little bit and see why it is failed check the locator check the logs and you will be able to understand it in much better way okay so let me run it as a cucumber feature and this time let's see that it actually goes to that QA resume section and scrolls there in the first name text box. So opening the website now, it has opened and now it should move to the or scroll to the view or the text box, right? You can see that it has scrolled, right? And you can see first name in the view, okay? So that's how basically the scroll function will work. It will scroll to the web element and it will bring that web element into the view, right? Now, what else the scroll supports? So if we go here, so we have just used scroll and provided the element locator and it will it has scrolled that into the view. Now, scroll can be chained with other functions like clicking, input, right? So this is a text box, so we can input some values there as well, okay? So I can chain it something like this. So I can say dot input and I can say RCV academy okay and this text will be input in this particular locator which is first name right so first the scroll will happen and then once this once this is in the view then input this text will be input in that text box okay so let's do that and then the next chaining action is basically clicking right so you can also click right you can scroll into the view and then also click so what is the button that you want to click say for example you want to click on subscribe okay so i won't enter email uh, i'll just try to click on subscribe okay so let's inspect subscribe as well and see that the locator for this one okay so if we simply see that it's it's an anchor okay so i'll simply say it's an anchor and here let's see what is the unique property about it so let's see let's take the class all right so i'll simply take the class here and i'll say class and the quotes provide the class there that should be it let me close the bracket and that's it right so you can see that this has been highlighted okay so that means and here you can see one of one and okay need to write it again anchor at class the class copy it and then we will simply 
paste it here let's paste that now there are better ways basically to get the locator but i'm just quickly copying it right just to explain the scroll right the focus is on the scroll not on the locator at this point okay if you want to learn locators there are series on selenium xpath and css selector go ahead and master that that's very important so they are available on the channel as well okay so now if i want to basically click right so i will simply say scroll and then scroll to this particular location okay so i'll simply copy the location of this button all right and then here i have input the rcv academy and then i here what i'll do is i can also chain scroll as well as the click right so i can say click so you scroll to this button and then click on it okay so that's what it will so if i simply put a little weight after this as well so you can see the error message because i will put the first name but not the email so it should actually throw an error and we should be able to see it okay so you'll see that what i'm doing i'm scrolling to the text field and providing the input in the text and then scrolling to the button and then clicking on it okay so both chaining actions are being used with the scroll function so let me run this so here you will see that it's basically let me rename it uh, i'm not renaming it but when i will load these then they all will be renamed okay so scroll test i'll say scroll okay let me run this now and see it in action so it has opened the browser it's opening um, the website so the website has been loaded now the scroll should happen you can see rcv academy has been typed in and then should click on the subscribe and you'll see at the bottom email field is required pop up in red has appeared right that means the scroll has happened and input has happened and also click has happened on the button so that's basically all about the scroll and the capabilities of scroll you'll see that is being provided so you can chain these we have understood about scrolling to the element chaining it with click and input all of the things that are basically required for your automation okay so that's all for this tutorial on scrolling in karate ui automation framework i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching